Hey there, this is Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us. Today, I'm excited to show you this 2020 Fleetwood Flare. This little gas coach is nearly brand new with just under 2,000 miles and has a couple of hidden upgrades that we will find throughout the video. This is pretty much a brand new coach at a major discount, no joke. Let's start with the front. This is of course on a Ford 6.8 liter Triton V10, which is a legendary engine. And what's cool about this coach is it actually has an 8,000 pound towing capacity. So that's a pretty stout towing capacity. Six speed Ford transmission. This one piece windshield up here has been bonded like a car windshield. So it's less likely to incur stress fractures and cracking, which was a thoughtful, um, thoughtful little touch there. I think the face of the coach is quite astounding. If you're standing at a, if you're standing, you know, at the very front of it, it looks like a, like an A bus. Like you couldn't, you couldn't place your finger on it if that was a, exactly a gas. It might, you know, if you didn't assume like it's see a grill and everything, but back beyond there. But the styling itself, I think, is quite nice. You come around the side. Again, the coach is brand new. So we've got um, decals that look brand new. This is a full wall slide. So the 29M model has a massive full wall slide, one large slide out topper covering it. We've got an outside shower right there. We've got hot water here, right here. This is a six gallon. Plop that back into place. So we've got about a 34,000 BTU furnace. I think it's 34, 32,000. You can look up the brochure. Um, let's see, what key are you, mister? Aha, outside shower, could use a rinse down, but again, like new, you can hang this up out here. Very convenient to have. Right here, we've got an automatic transfer switch there on the right with a built-in surge guard. So 50 amp coach, of course, big long cable right there. So you can plug in park cable. That's kind of nice, still on a 2020 model. Um, plug in park cable there or a portable, sat or a portable satellite. And we're gonna tour the roof here very shortly. Now, this is a pristine looking plumbing bay. We've got our two holding tanks up on the top. We've got our dump right there on the bottom. Standard setup, gray coming from the left, black from the right. Filtration on the left, so that's that white canister right there. And those red and blue drain hoses are, um, they should be low point drains. Low point drains for the plumbing system. Use those when you wanna go uh, um, either completely drain out the system for some reason or winterize the coach. Fuel tank right there. We have our sanit flush, so you can flush the black tank out with ease. And this is the connection where you will connect to city pressure, allowing you to switch off your pump and just use the pressure of a tap. Around back, straightforward. Got a bumper bar here, 8,000 pound tow capacity. Generator exhaust is coming out of that exhaust there on the left. Look up underneath there is to take a glance. Super clean, seven flat pin tow connector, standard. Um, rear cameras, of course, as well as side cameras. We've got a very large patio awning here. That could very well be a 20 foot. And it's a full electric patio awning. So straightforward, one press, got your patio awning. There is a very nice entertainment setup out here. Um, we're going to get into that, but it's nice to notice, by the way, these huge and beautiful um, flush frameless windows that we have on the bus or the coach. Looks fantastic. These are huge. Those are some of the biggest vents you'll see. They look really nice and they're just well built. LCI glass. So what's back behind here? It's pretty nice, actually. We've got an outdoor kitchen, little mini fridge, a microwave, which is pretty shocking to see. 
Got this right here, it's just outdoor storage, as well as like a flat top surface. There's extra storage in the countertop up there on the left. It's just very nice. Turn on the water pump on, you've got, you know, oh, look at that. That's a, a that must be a dump for the water tank. So yeah, this is nice. Got an outdoor kitchen to entertain here with. And on top of that, We have a massive Sansway TV out here. And in addition to those outdoor speakers, you've got a jam up entertainment setup under this huge patio awning. Not only do you have that mini kitchen, you've got the huge TV. It just sets up nice. Um, a lot of good memories to be had hanging out here in the patio and going to hang out in the camp or wherever beautiful location you happen to be. Now down in here, we've got our propane tank. Super clean. Um, it's hilarious how clean this coach is pretty much brand new. On the right side, I love that we have that disconnect there, hard disconnect, and that's going straight to our 1000 watt Magnum inverter. So it's nice to have that inverter. You're on the road, you wanna fire your microwave up, you wanna get some power to your outlet, your coach, um, your engine will charge all the batteries. If you're not running your generator, it's perfect to have that inverter. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this, shut that. And that will complete the quick outdoor tour. We are going to uh, take a peek at the roof here real quick, talk about a couple extra things. We'll tour the interior and then we'll finish with a test drive. Can't wait to feel how this coach um, drives and um, what this 2020 flare is like on the road because historically Fleetwood does a good job with how the flares drive. So I'm pretty excited to feel this thing. And 1,912 miles, not even broken in. We're gonna be doing some breaking in today. We are up on the roof now of this flare and it is in excellent condition. A bird has given us a little gift right there. And of course, you know, it's not perfectly clean, but the seals, they look perfectly clean. They're absolutely healthy. Everything looks fantastic up here. We've got these little running lights, LED running lights up top, classic antenna. You can see uh, our toppers and patio awning all rolled up. We've got a WindGuard 360 here, and in front of that, we've got a Wi-Fi Ranger, a Sky 4. And back behind that, we've got our first air conditioner, and then our two exhaust fans, which are both covered with um, these proper big vent covers, so you can operate those fans while you're going down the road or while you are in the rain. We're about to get some here soon. Anyways, this is our skylight right here. Again, I mean, the roof is pretty much brand new. Hey, little feller, there's a little bug up here with us. So this says satellite pre-wired location. You wanna put a satellite up top? No problem, already pre-wired. And we are arriving at our rear air conditioner. So this is fantastic having a small coach like this with two AC units. You're gonna be able to absolutely blast that AC in there. And it helps if you got a lot of people in there too. Rear seal looks good. Again, this is a 2020, 1900 miles. A pretty much light new coach. I guess um, if you wanna nitpick some flaws, there, there's some dried up leaves and, and pollen looking stuff. I mean, we could nitpick that. Yeah, it's a brand new. All right, let, let's, get, let's continue on with this. Welcome to this interior. So as you can see, that full wall slide really makes a lot of space for us. And with those two swiveling, massive co-pilot chairs, you really have a lot of entertainment space up here. Now, we're gonna point out some interesting things. And um, let's start with the dining area, if, we, if you will. We've got like a booth corner set up here. And this can be turned into a, uh, a sleeping arrangement here. And I think you can also swap the table that you would put in between the front two chairs into this position as well. But um, back behind that booth, we've got two massive vent outs on those frameless windows. I was mentioning that, you know, uh, this is a nice update. Newer coaches uh, at one point had started introducing these vent out frameless windows. And then these uh, are some of the bigger ones that I've seen. This is fantastic. I remember, uh, you know, the American heritage in 2012 and stuff in 2011, I just happened to have firsthand experience with those coaches. 
they had uh, much smaller. I mean, that's like top of the line, right? This Fleetwood, we've got big vent outs there. And the coloring in this coach, I think, is quite tasteful. I think it's, um, it's like a nice mix between that warmth of sort of the old style coaches and the new style. We've got some gray going on. The cabinets are, they have like a gray undertone. And uh, I'm upping my game hanging out, you know, for uh, a couple years, you know, or so uh, with my girlfriend Kaya behind the camera. Now over here, we've got a stainless bowl for our sink, as well as a three burner Dometic uh, gas stove. So some people actually prefer gas. This is a nice looking gas stove. Check this out. So this folds back and we can set that right there. And that's just a nice looking stove, right? It's got like a grill top and we have an oven. That's right. So good old oven in this coach. It's funny. I was just uh, walking some very nice customers today through some coaches and uh, they were talking about how um, she preferred the gas stove. And I was like, I, I understand that. Um, you know, there's preferences when it comes to things like that. Now this backsplash is beautiful. It's actually a glass, and I just realized that it's like a glass tile, and uh, it's like a subway tile, but out of glass. It's absolutely beautiful, and it goes very well with the coach. You know, I'm gonna be completely honest. I thought this was like a plastic. I didn't touch it before. That's actually very nice, um, very well done, and they use like a nice, um, almost automotive paint behind the glass. It goes perfectly with the colors in the coach. It's like a metallic, absolutely beautiful. Lots of storage up above. So if you open this up, the cabinets are just, they're all solid wood cabinets. And you can see they do, I think this is called like, th there's a term dovetailing or, or something. I could be calling it wrong, but you see this little bit, look at the corners right here on the edge. They probably have a better angle from here. Those little things. I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to woodwork. I do know what they feel like and I've been um, you know, throughout a lot of different types of coaches. This woodwork is pretty nice considering the level. Of course, it's not like a big uh, solid wood everywhere, but it is pretty well built, um, especially, you know, the flare is, is supposed to be like a well built, um, has some of the nicer features out, out of the gas coaches. And it definitely shows um, throughout history, but it definitely shows in this coach too. Microwave, let's get through this real quick. I'm sorry, because I, I tend to uh, blab a bit. So this is a nice microwave right here. And then to the left, we've got an Insignia household refrigerator. Look at that massive amount of space, cools quickly. And got a nice convenient lock here. We, also ha we have that 1000 watt inverter and um, we've got just, it's a nice setup to be able to run that Insignia. So the kitchen space continues here a little bit got deep drawers, very deep drawers, and that right there. Okay, so we've got outlets right there, and that's the back of our hot water heater. So you've got a nice access point to your hot water heater bypass there. I love how they're labeled nowadays. They used to be like, it's like a mad hunt um, looking for that valve. So yeah, no, nice little location there. And we're coming along to our couch here. So above the couch, we've got massive storage. Um, nice LED lights here just for the couch. And this is a jackknife. And it turns into extra sleeping arrangements. So we've got a nice jackknife here. The condition of this interior, I'm not really talking about it much because it's, it's pretty much brand new. It, it is brand new. This is you're buying a brand new coach, but it's technically not. We have to call it like new because honestly, maybe you're gonna come here with a, a microscope. This isn't like it just rolled out of the factory line, but uh, it's just rolled out of the factory line and did under uh, 2000 miles. So <laughs> that's what this coach is. Um, anyways, so I'm not talking too much about condition because it's a given um, on this type of coach. Not absolutely perfect. You bring a micro, uh, um, Magnifying glass, sure, maybe some tiny thing somewhere. Like I said, didn't just actually roll out of the, the factory isn't there, okay? But again, pretty much like new. 
probably repeated myself like five times there. Two uh, massive co-pilot chairs, and that was an observation Kaya made when she first got on the coach. Uh, it has like the big diesel coach uh, cockpit chairs, which is absolutely fantastic, and they swivel. Now up in the front, we have a lower down bed. We've got a like a steps or ladder that goes right up in here. They also fitted it with extra lights up here, which you can control via switches. And the mattress is still in the wrapper. You don't have to go down all the way like I just did, but yeah, the mattress is uh, never been used, but they have a whole entire, I believe this is a queen size. It looks, it looks like a queen. I mean, it, it's big. That's fantastic. And I always thought like, what about, what a great view you'd had waking up in the morning, right? With the light and stuff. Or you could shut those shades down. It's up to you. You'd have a little sliver there, but you'd shut the shades down. But uh, anyways, so that's fantastic. And in the middle here, we have a 39 inch flat screen TV on a nice mount in the back. So you can bring this around and swivel it to wherever you like. If you're sitting on the couch, right? Or if you're hanging out in the bed and uh, that's a nice mount there. Now this is the control for our front AC. There are two AC units up top, which will be able to keep you cool a lot better than just having one. Um, nothing wrong with having one, but two is nice, of course. Uh, this is the control for the front uh, AC unit. We also have control for our furnace um, through this Coleman mock controller as well. That's the slide out. So this is the slide out on the driver's side, the only slide in the coach. And we arrived at our bathroom area. Now we have pretty solid amount of countertop space and a porcelain domestic toilet. So they fit in a good bit of storage all the way down to the counter there. We've got an exhaust fan up here. We've got um, their standard exhaust fans. Stainless here, so easy to keep clean. It's not glamorous, of course, but honestly, stainless, it matches the rest of the coach. Stainless is beautiful in kitchens. Um, I, I actually think it looks good in here, too. I like stainless because you really know if it's clean or not, and you can keep it clean. And that's kind of the thing. For, I don't know why I get... Uh, it just anyways. Um, so background here of the mirror. Extra space. Down below, we've got extra space ton of space in front of me around the toilet this is a decent sized shower for sure that's glass tempered glass but that is just a nice you know when you deal with a solid feeling substance it changes how you interact with it but anyways i'm 5 10 5 11 so you got a reference there <laughs> let's make sure that's locked and we will move on to the middle of the coach this has Automatic gen start, by the way. All the control for the coach, all the controls and buttons are in the middle. We'll talk about that, or I'll try to touch on that before we go on the, the test drive. We've got a nice big pocket door right here. And that's nice. So this is a minor thing, but because of the refrigerator in reference to where this is, you're never gonna be worried about having a crack there. Minor detail, but it's one of those details when you're out camping, you're, you really, it might be one of those things you notice, but you won't notice until you go camping. And back in here, we've got a king size bed. Pretty accessible from both sides. And uh, yeah, nice headboard back there. Looks gorgeous. Again, very tasteful kind of, you see this material all around the windows and stuff. It's like a, it's like a leather material. Um, I'm not sure if it's real leather, but it sure feels like real leather. And it's like, it's got like a really cool pattern, but it, it goes on the headboard. I think it's absolutely tasteful. King bed is just really nice to have. So there's a massive amount of storage up above the headboard here, extremely deep. And as you can see, it goes all the way down to the bottom of there, over there in this room, which is just incredible. This is an emergency uh, exit. So you undo these flaps, you can fall out the back of the coach. Um, but heck, that might be a great option, depending if it is an emergency situation. But this is awesome. I like having that rear window. It just adds different dynamic in the bedroom. There's no screen on it either. 
Of course, there's privacy shades and all that, but um, with no screen, you just have a clear view out of wherever your location may be. This is awesome. Look at these. Look at these doors. That's so cool. Look how thick they are. Now, that is a wardrobe. That is a wardrobe. Heck yeah. Massive wardrobe. Holy cow. I mean, look at this. like as big as the shower, if not bigger. I can stand. Oh. Oh, 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 I can pretty much stand in here. I can, I got to bend a little bit. I can almost stand in there. That's crazy. And, oh, that's so nice. Okay. Deep drawers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those are big. So all of that is pretty much space. They've made them so wide. This is a new sheet set. We just started. Hakai just added in here. All the ports have USB. So all these power ports. Now there's another TV right there. Vent out window there. It's just so it looks so cozy. I don't know why this image, right? Like the countertop, the you know, it's like the other side of the bed with the little vent out. Okay, let's go get it um, on the road. We're gonna cover the coach controls real quick, which we're gonna walk over to right now. We'll talk about the cockpit, um, you know, a, a bit, and then we'll get on the highway. So right here. Um, is where we have all our coach controls. So you can check your tanks up here, fresh gray, black propane, your main batteries, which are your um, you know, chassis side batteries, and then your auxiliary batteries, coach side batteries. I don't know why they have to switch the name so many times. Right at 40 hours. Then we've got water heater, the electric water heater right here. We've got water heater gas. So this is nice. The coach has an element in the water heater. So if you want, you can just use shore power to get hot water, but you also have the propane heater to take longer showers and such. Water pump. We've also got a 12 volt disconnect, auxiliary battery disconnect. So it's got a solenoid push button. You disconnect the power from coach side. Um, this is where we can start our generator. And then down below is where we have our auto gen start. You can also start the generator there and set what you want in your auto gen start. Super nice. Um, that's your antenna right there. It's got an automatic antenna up top, a wing guard. So for your... Uh, you know, that, that's a nice, that's for your TV and stuff that we're getting right now on the TV. Okay. Um, you know, but over here on the side, you just got light switches, porch light, entry step, and the awning switch, of course. Let's check out the cockpit. Drive it. I can't wait to drive it. Holy cow. Sorry, I had to mention this before we moved on. Um, that is the fact that it has these recessed glass light covers um, over all the LED lights. Not all of the LED lights, but most all of them except for the lights above that um, bring that, that electric drop down bed. So it just gives it that nice coach look. When you look at all those lights, they're all recessed in those glass, um, holder, the glass, uh, covers. It just gives it a different look, but, um, just wanted to mention that. Sorry. Good night. So let's walk through the cockpit here. Um, over on the left, we've got an auxiliary start. So that'll combine our battery banks. If you need to jump off your generator or jump off your engine, we've also got the control for our front electric shade. Got a uh, classic Ford control for the headlights and everything. This is the dimmer for all the backlighting. Now the cruise control is located on the steering wheel like a, uh, a, a VIP wheel on a diesel coach. Um, but you got cruise on the steering wheel, classic shifter. I absolutely love these shifters. Anyways, indicator on the left, windshield wiper, you know, straightforward stuff like that. Our leveling system is right here. You can auto level with it, manual level. It'll show you which side it needs to lift up on. Very nice system there. It's a Lippert um, LCI component right there, shared with Winnebago. Winnebago uses the same type of system. Up above, we've got a Boss audio system head unit, um, Bluetooth, navigation, all that good stuff. We're gonna test out the sound system on the road. I haven't tried it out. I suspect it's gonna be pretty fly, but we'll see. Park radio, so you can have the radio on and powered up off the coach batteries if you wanna hang out here and blast music from it. You can also start the generator from multiple points, including the automatic gen start control, but you've got a control right there for it too. Dash AC, there's USB ports as, regular, as well as regular 12 volt everywhere. And uh, conveniently, there's also 120 outlets um, on the other side, kind of up here. So this is sort of for the bed that's above here, but you can use it for the cockpit and the co-pilot. So check out the room in here, classic window 
down low, right? Like a classic old RV. Cup holder over here, got extra speakers you can see, a little bit of storage space on both sides, mimicking the other side of the coach. This will pull out right here, a little extra space, nice made out of wood. And then, uh, oh, that's nice. Heck yeah. Great little place to sit there and work. Great co-pilot chair, probably uh, more comfortably laid out than the, than the pilot chair, I have to say. Okay, now that we've gone through the cockpit, it's time to go hit the road. V10, 1,912 miles. All right, let's go drive this thing. It's got upgraded Sumo uh, airbags in the back. Factory, it came with Bilstein um, sway bar control arms or something, some apparatus that was normally a upgraded option. They're like, uh, I forget the term. I was reading it. You can go read the 2020 Fleetwood Flare brochure though, and I highly encourage you to do that. Um, but anyways, it's got the sway bars up front. It's got additional um, upgrades from the factory and from the previous owner. So we're gonna go drive this coach and obviously it's gonna drive like a brand new bus or a brand new coach. But I'm gonna try to give you my feedback and uh, maybe stack it up compared to uh, some other gas coaches out there. Let's hit the road. All right, so we are on the test drive now. We just entered the highway and uh, so far what I can say is um, the rattles and noises in here, average, you know, Every coach and most RVs, um, especially in this price range, but even diesels up above this price range are gonna rattle like this. The ride is nice. Both me and Kaya, um, or Kaya and I, have commented on that. Those sumo bags definitely help. My favorite thing and the takeaway that I can say is the steering is definitely above average compared to gas coaches I've driven. V10 feels great, chassis feels great, very well put together. I mean, it's a typical Ford chassis. The steering and ride quality are above average. The steering is my favorite thing for sure because it's so easy to place the coach. Of course, on the highway is where gas coaches are maybe, uh, I guess you could say exposed more. Around town, my gosh, no bus can come close to feeling how easy this is to drive around town. On the highway, that's probably what everybody's wondering. So let's get up next to this truck here. We're doing about 60 miles an hour. I don't wanna do too many miles. This thing only has a, I don't wanna cross 2000 miles in this thing. It's so low miles. I'm also not flooring it because it's not even broken in. I'm driving about 2100 RPM. All right, approaching the truck, we're doing about 65. So if you're familiar with RVs, you know that it's the same uh, goes for cars, but it's even more so in RVs. The, the faster you go, it's not a linear equation. It's, it's, um, it's, a, uh, it's an exponential equation as the faster you go. So the faster you go, the much more stress you have on the chassis, the much more wind is gonna affect the chassis, right? So we're gonna add five, five miles an hour and then I'm gonna set cruise control. Now, uh, Kaya was commenting that she saw the steering wheel vibrating a lot. And while there are vibrations coming through the steering, I actually appreciate it because it's feedback. This is not like your typical 2021 Hyundai or Honda. Nothing wrong with those cars. We have a Honda, They, uh, Kaya's family, they've got a brand new Hyundai, this is why I know where the steering is totally dead, right? It's totally electric, no feeling. There's feeling coming through the steering wheel, which I absolutely love. But that being said, it's very calm, very rational steering. I have to take this exit, so um, that's when I'm gonna pass the truck. You're gonna join us here just a second. We're gonna take this exit and loop around. Okay, so we are being approached. I'm going 62 miles an hour. I'm gonna set cruise control again. And I have a truck approaching me going at least uh, 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour faster than me right now. And you'll see him, you can judge that yourself. Watch how I react. A Little bit of initial wind. And I'm not gonna lie, it happens on big diesels too. If you don't, see there's a way to handle the truck. If you get set and then a truck passes you, much less likely to react. Because even with a diesel, typically what happens as the truck approaches you, your driver's seat, you will initially feel a little push. 
as the truck passes you and the tail end of that truck passes you, for some reason, it kind of wants to suck you back in the way they are dynamics. Like I said, it will happen even to me in a diesel coach. You'll be affected by a truck. I've been affected worse by worse than that, how you just saw in this coach, in a diesel coach. Why? Because I handled it wrong. So people forget that. Yes, there's chassis effects in how these drive and ride, but there's huge driver effects. So like I said, you get your, your steering more set, you kind of get your angle right. Hard to explain unless you've, driv uh, you've driven these RVs or big vehicles like this with the aerodynamics that are similar as like a big brick going down the highway. But uh, you start to get a feel for it. This is an excellent, excellent highway driving gas coach. Um, I would dare to say about the best gas coach that I have ever driven, for sure. I'm not shocked. I actually did a video on an old 2002 Fleetwood Flare way back, and I was shocked and thrilled at how well it drove. Fleetwood, in general, typically pays attention to how their coaches feel for all, all, all levels, even up at the American coach level, but at down at this level too. Um, and this is a high-end gas coach. Sure, it doesn't have, I think I need to take that exit. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Oh no, I was supposed to take that exit. That exit. Yeah. Oh no. I was trying to tell you that. Um, this is one very nice driving gas coach. The steering is super stable um, because we have those factory upgrades and then we have those Sumo airbags on top of that and only 1,900 miles. I mean, come on. We're gonna conclude the test drive. This is a 10 out of 10 gas driving coach. And like I mentioned, even when you're comparing to other big diesels, I think on the highway, this thing is very, very compelling. Um, obviously, diesels are different, so I shouldn't even be talking about them, but we mostly sell diesels, so it's kind of what I'm thinking about and comparing it to. Uh, the steering is just so nice on this. I would say the steering is better than a lot of diesel coaches, at least for me, that's kind of a personal preference. The highway, though, the stability was very nice. The steering, you saw how that truck, how I reacted past when I got passed by the truck, and honestly, I'm a little impressed, too. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to handle that well. All right, back to the studio, back to the facility. I don't want to steal that, that's from Top Gear. Back to the facility is going to be ours. <laughs> and that concludes the video of this 2020 Fleetwood Flare. If you would like any more information or if you're interested in purchasing this coach, please give me a text or a call at 864-376-5600. Thank you for watching and have a great day.